The facility's construction is finished and now they're going through test runs before the grand opening in two months. We, we now have the best gym, not only in the state, I think we have the best uh, sports complex for youth in the country. A first look inside from the massive video board to the mini courts that all ages are going to be playing on. The city says while the building is complete, there is work to do before it opens to everybody. And a lot of that figuring out comes from kids who are coming in for tournaments now. We're using those as soft uh, openings, trying to figure out exactly how the, this building operates, how the scoreboards work, how the big board works. All of this makes Olsen reflect on what he saw back in the day when it came to Norman talent like Trey Young and even OKC Thunder guard Lindy Waters. And this is kind of fits in our residents' vision, so it definitely fits in the Young family's vision, and, and this is kind of fruit of everybody working together to come up and investing in, in your own community. Ray Young, Trey's dad, says their family wants to invest in a city that they love. This is just the beginning of some of the things that he's going to do, and uh, with our foundation, we want to partner with as many people as possible to keep making things like this happen. And it isn't finished yet, as some details need fixing, but Ray says he's excited for the youth in Oklahoma. It's uh, exciting to see the kids in this community have those same opportunities, but at a, at a bigger level than, than what my kids had when they were younger. Now kids are going to be piling into this athletic center over the next couple weeks and Ray Young and Olsen say their kids and many others are enjoying this so far. And the official ribbon cutting of this center is February 19th. Reporting in Norman, Dakota Wapakichi, KOCO 5 News.